Hi, this is Mike from BNB SmartWorks. In this video, we are going to take a look at a feature that is available on our EKI managed switches. It's called IXM and uses the latest device management technology. What is IXM? IXM equals faster network deployment. Setting up configurations or upgrading firmware on a large number of devices is a challenging job for any network professional. IXM makes deployment fast and efficient. It works through a master switch to communicate to all other IXM capable devices. IXM is embedded into each of our managed switches so there is no need to install anything on your PC and it is completely free to use. All you need is access to a standard web browser and the master switch's IP address. Some of the features of IXM include the ability to assign a fixed range of IP addresses to many devices at the same time, upgrade firmware across all your devices with a few clicks of the mouse, allows you to copy the same switch configuration across multiple switches. How do I use IXM? The first step to use an IXM is to set up your master switch. The master switch will be used to communicate the configuration settings, firmware, or IP information to any other IXM compatible switches. Let's get started. When you log into one of our switches, you'll come to the device information screen. On this screen, you can see the IP address assigned to the switch, the firmware version, and the MAC address. Please note, the master switch cannot use the default IP address assigned to our switches. In our example, we changed the master switch IP address to 192.168.2.5 and we added a couple of VLANs for training purposes. Once you're at this screen, verify the information, come over to the IP settings screen, you can also see the IP address. We're going to come down to the VLAN, verify that we have VLANs built. Once we have all our information, we're going to go to Tools, start up IXM. Once IXM starts up, you're going to do a quick scan of your network. And once the scan's done, click on Devices to see all your devices. We have one master switch and six target switches. All the target switches are at the defaulted IP address with firmware versions that are .79 and .01. First thing we're going to do is set up IP addresses. Go to the Range IP Configuration screen, put in your starting IP address range, your end IP address range, your subnet mask, and your default gateway. Once that's done, hit next step. Once you hit next step, you'll be brought back to the range IP configuration screen. You're going to select your target devices. Once this is done, hit next step, verify the information is correct, and click apply. Once that's done, go back to your devices page, do a rescan of your network. Once this is done, click on devices, and our target switches should now have the new IP addresses. Now we're going to move over to firmware. As you can see, we have two different versions of firmware. We're going to make everything 1.00.79, which is the most current. We're going to come in, pick a switch with current firmware as our source. Then we're going to go next step, find our target devices, Click on those, click next step, verify the information is correct, and click proceed. This step may take a while, anywhere from a couple minutes up to about 20 minutes. Once this is completed, go back to your Devices page, click Scan, and you can see the firmware has been upgraded to 1.00.79 on all our switches. We're going to go into our master switch. Notice that we have some VLANs built. We're going to come to the first switch where there is no VLANs built. We're going to come back to our IXM. We're going to go into Config Synchronization. We're going to pick the master switches config with the VLANs. We're going to pass that to 2.10, one of our target devices. Click next step. We're going to change everything except the IP address. Click next, verify your information. 
and the config should sync. Once this is done, go back to the devices page. You can go back to the master switch, see the VLANs built. We're going to come to the target switch of 2.5, go into VLAN management, and notice that the configuration for the VLANs have been passed to the switch. Once this is done, all our information is correct, our IPs and our firmware are correct. We're going to go into save configuration, click next step, select all our target devices, and this will save all the configuration changes that we made. Verify your information, click operate. Once this is done, you can move those switches out to your network.